Good morning to everyone and welcome to the new update on the market. For today, I decided to cover USD versus Canadian dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the USD versus Canadian dollar first. So what we have here is the daily time frame. And uh, we can see that in the last uh, two days, actually last three days, we had a consolidation just around this a swing high uh, at 1.3386 level. And uh, the market is trading basically pretty much trending day uh, whole day long, uh, open it around 1.3366 and it's trading uh, with a strong momentum to the upside today. We also completed the double bottom formation in the last, uh, which basically took almost 30 days to develop. And uh, there is a chance for higher prices also, the short term perspective and an intraday perspective. The next upside reference points are set at the price of 1.3455, which can be the intraday, like kind of upside objective. But then we have like um, highs and the key resistance area speaking of the short medium perspective at 1.3650 mark if we take a look for example the hourly time frame we can see that market uh, uh, broke this consolidation area and it is trading with increased uh, increased momentum to the upside now speaking of the gold market we had uh, pretty much rejection of the key resistance at 1980 mark and after that, market went into some consolidation. Yesterday, we had uh, uh, almost like an inside day formation into day market trading lower, taking the previous day low. And seems like market is uh, gold is trying to attack the pin bar area uh, and try to maybe we, we can see the test of 1925 level today. Uh, if we have a full completion of this uh, and full rejection of this resistance in 1985. We can even see in the short term perspective lower gold and uh, potential test of uh, 1895 mark. Um, hourly time frame. If you take a look at the hourly time frame, this is the situation building lower highs and lower lows, and the pin bar area is uh, very close. So basically, we're now entering this pin bar ter territory from this bar that uh, that market made on uh, August 4th. Speaking of the crude oil, um, we had rejection of the swing high, actually the key cluster. This is a very important pivot level for the crude oil. And the uh, market basically had uh, some consolidation day yesterday. And today we have the open and drive to the downside. Basically, this is like a look pretty much opposite, like compared to the USD Canadian dollar. Still, lower prices definitely might be in the play. Uh, short term, intraday speaking, I will not be surprised if the market um, try to test uh, 79.10 level or 79 mark. Uh, that can definitely be in the play. Uh, and uh, then the next lower reference points are set at 77.40 and uh, 74.55 mark. On an hourly time frame, we can see that market broke this uh, key intraday support line. Uh, so that's the area at 81.54, and that uh, we have the definitely supply in control and downside momentum. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, we have lots of those fake breakouts of the consolidation uh, area so we can see here there was a fake breakout here so um, for me nothing changed since uh, previous updates basically I will wait for a clear break and hold either below this extreme low at 28,490 or breakout of this uh, upper extreme let's say 30,000 mark and only the market can trade and break the either lower or upper extreme and then hold, uh, then we can see some further bigger directional move. So if we take the low at 28,480 and hold below, this can open the door for the lower prices and test of 26,700, maybe even for 25,000. 
a level uh, if we trade let's say the market can break 30,000 mark and hold a ball then that can open the door for higher prices a potential retest of the 31,400 and 31,700 mark that will be all for this update guys I hope that you did enjoy uh, have a good day and speak to you from tomorrow morning